of us is Savita Bodke and welcome to the quick revision series of this standard costing. In the previous lecture, we have studied regarding the six important formulas. So now we are going to solve the sum based on that formulas. Every year in the Mumbai University, you get standard costing for the 15 marks and scoring the 15 out of 15 marks in the standard costing is quite easy. The first step is always you have to remember the formulas correctly and now we are going to study regarding the application of that formulas. So we are having one sum that is from the April 2016 university question paper. Calculate the material and labor variances from the following data. They have given you standard per 10 units. Please pay attention over here. They have given you standard per 10 units means whatever the standard data they have given you that is for the 10 units. So we have to check out that whether the actual data is also for the 10 units. Now the next one they have given you that material 60 kgs at rupees 4 per kg means to produce the 10 units the standard material is of the 60 kg and the rate per kg of that material is of rupees 4. Next one they have given you that labor 40 hours at rupees 4 per hour. Again, they have specified over here that we require a labor to work for the 40 hours to produce the 10 units and we are paying rupees 4 to that worker for working for the 1 hour. Now the next one they have given you that actual production for the month is of 12,500 units. Now the actual data they have given you for the 12,500 units and standard data they have given you for the 10 units. So while solving the sum we are going to make it equal. Next one they have given you that actual material price per kg is of rupees 4.50. The material used during the month is 78,000 kgs. Direct labor hours work 48,000 hours. Actual wages paid is rupees 1,68,000. Now what we have to do? We have to solve the sum with the help of all this data. So now we are going to solve the sum. Please note that this entire sum and whatever the solution I am going to solve that is available on my website scoreachievers.com. The link I have given in the description box so student can see this sum as well as the solution on that website. So now we are going to solve the sum. So whatever the data we are having first always we have to prepare one table. We have to specify the standard quantity here. Standard quantity we have measured in a kg. So I have written standard kg. SQ is kg. Standard price is in rupees. Actual quantity is again is in a kg. AP stands for the actual price. Here we have to mention the rupees. Now what we have to do? We have to enter the amount in this table. So now over here they have given you the standard rate is of 4. So we are going to place the 4 over here as it is. Now they have given you information that material used during the month is of 78,000 kgs. So that's why we have specified 78,000 kg as your actual quantity. Now the next one that they have given you that actual material price per kg is of 4.50. So that's why actual price I have specified as 4.5. But here you can see that I have used a different pen that only I am going to explain you. Now what we have to do? We have to note down that for the production of the 10 units we require the 60 kg of material they have given you that for the 10 units we require the 60 kg of material so what we are going to do we are going to write down 10 units is equal to the 60 kg so 12,500 units for production of 12,500 units how much kg we require that only we have to compute so that's why I have put the question mark over here now we have to use the cross multiplication. 
so it will be 12,500 into 60 divided by 10. So 12,500 into 60 is 750,000 divided by 10. You will get the standard quantity is of 75,000 kg means for the production of 10 units we require the 60 kg. So for the production of 12,500 units we are going to require a standard quantity is of 75,000 kg. Now already we are having the formulas and we have to just put this amounts in the respective formula and we have to do the simple multiplication that's it that is what your standard costing is so material cost variance we are having the formula is of standard quantity into standard price minus actual quantity into actual price standard quantity already we are having 75000 standard price we are having 4 rupees actual quantity 78000 and actual price is 4.5 so as it is, I have taken down all this amount over here. So 75,000 into 4, it is rupees 3 lakhs. 78,000 into 4.5, it is 3,51,000. So I have to subtract this amount. So my answer is in negative, that is minus 51,000. So please remember that whenever in case of your standard costing, amount comes in the negative. So we have to note down this amount as adverse in bracket we have to just write down a a specifies that this is negative amount this is the adverse amount so mcv is equal to the 51000 adverse now the next one is material price variance already we are having the formula for this is standard price minus actual price into actual quantity we are having the standard price is of 4 rupees, actual price is of 4.5 and actual quantity is of 78,000. So I am going to put all this amounts over here, 4 minus 4.5 into 78,000. So 4 minus 4.5 it is minus 0 0.50 into 78,000. Again the answer will come in a negative so it is minus 39,000. So whenever the answer is in negative, we have to write down this as 39,000 in bracket A that is adverse. So we are having material price variance is of minus 39,000 that is 39,000 adverse. So I hope that there is no confusion. Now the next one is we have to compute the material usage variance for that already we are having the formula that is standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard price. Standard quantity we are having is of the 75,000 so we are going to place the 75,000 over here. Now actual quantity we are having is of 78,000 so we are going to note down this as 78,000 and standard price is of the 4 rupees. So 75,000 minus 78,000 you will get the minus 3,000 into 4. The, again the answer is a negative so we have to write down as material usage variance is equal to the 12,000 adverse. Now the next step is of the verification. How to do the verification? Verification is material cost variance is equal to the material price variance plus material usage variance. Already we have computed the material price variance is of the 39,000 adverse and uh, sorry material price variance is of the 39,000 adverse and material usage variance is 12,000 adverse. So as it is I am going to put it uh, put this in the formula. So 39,000 plus 12,000 again both are the adverse. So my answer is 51,000 adverse and this both amounts are the same the my total of MCV and this total is same it means that this is verified. Now the next step is we have to compute the labor variances. So for that again we are going back to the question. Now whatever they have given you related with the labor that only we are going to take into consideration right now. Now standard hours they have given you the 40 hours but that is for the production of the 10 units and the rate they have specified is of rupees 4 per hour. 
so what we are going to do we are going to write down the standard rate as 4 rupees now the next one is they have given you that now the next one is they have given you that the direct labor hours work is of the 48,000 hours so that 48,000 also we are going to take down as it is but here we can see that I have highlighted this because both this amounts we have computed but why we have computed this because they have given you the standard labor for the 10 units so I have to find out the standard labor for the 12,500 units over here and they have not given you any actual rate so that's why I have highlighted it so the first thing is we are going to compute the standard hours for the 10 units we require the 40 hours so for the 12,500 units how much hours so we have to put the question mark over here again the cross multiplication so it will be 12,500 into 40 divided by 10 so 12,500 into 40 is 5 lakhs 5 lakhs divided by 10 that is 50,000 hours so right now we are having the standard hours that is 50,000 hours now the next one is we have to compute the actual rate but how we are going to compute they have given you the actual wages and actual hours data we are having so formula for that is actual wages divided by actual hours or you can say that as total wages divided by actual hours both are correct so in the question itself they have given you that the actual wages paid is of rupees 1,68,000 so that's why we have taken it as 1,68,000 divided by 48,000 so you will get the actual rate is of 3.5 so now this I am going to put in the table over here that is standard hours is of the 50,000 and actual rate is of the 3.5 now we have to start with the computation of your labor variances now the first one is labor cost variance the formula already we are having that is standard hours into standard rate minus actual hours into actual rate now we are having the standard hours is of the 50,000 standard rate is 4 actual hours is 48,000 actual rate is 3.5 so 50,000 into 4 that will be 2 lakhs 48,000 into 3.5 that is 1 lakh 68,000 so 2 lakhs minus 1 lakh 68,000 that is 32,000 now please pay attention that this amount is a positive so whenever the amount is positive we have to write down in front of that in bracket f f stands for the favorable whenever the amount is positive we are going to write down as f and whenever the amount is negative we have to write down in bracket a that you have to remember otherwise in the examination you are going to lose out the marks if you are not going to write down this f and a now the next one is labor rate variance the formula is standard rate minus actual rates into actual hours already we are aware regarding the standard rate and actual rate standard rate is 4 actual rate is 3.5 and actual hours is 48,000 so that is 4 minus 3.50 into 48,000 so 4 minus 3.5 that is 0 0.50 and actual hours is 48,000 so it is 0 0.50 into 48,000 it is 24,000 again the answer is in positive so we have to write down as 24,000 favorable please remember that you can skip this step and you can directly write down as 24,000 F just for the better understanding I have written it separately because I am teaching you from the YouTube so you should be able to understand now the next one is labor efficiency variance the formula for that is standard hours minus actual hours into standard rate so we are having the standard hours is of the 50,000 actual hours is of the 48,000 and standard rate is of 4 rupees so we have to just place this 
फिफ्टी थाउजेंड माइनस फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड इंटू फोर सो फिफ्टी थाउजेंड माइनस फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड इट इज़ टू थाउजेंड इंटू फोर सो द अमाउंट इज ऑफ रुपीज एट थाउजेंड अगेन द आंसर इज ऑन पॉजिटिव सो लेबर एफिशियंसी वैरियंस इज एट थाउजेंड एफ नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज ऑफ द वेरीफिकेशन वेरीफिकेशन इज एल सी वी शुड बी इक्वल टू द टोटल ऑफ द बोथ सो इट इज लेबर रेट वेरियंस प्लस लेबर एफिशियंसी वेरियंस लेबर रेट वेरियंस वी हैव कंप्यूटेड इज ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड एंड एफिशियंसी वेरियंस इज ऑफ द एट थाउजेंड सो ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड प्लस एट थाउजेंड बोथ आर द फेवरेबल सो द आंसर इज थर्टी टू थाउजेंड फेवरेबल एंड येस दिस अमाउंट इज सेम एज योर कंप्यूटेशन दैट इज एल सी वी इज थर्टी टू थाउजेंड फेवरेबल इट मीन्स दैट येस आर कैलकुलेशन इज करेक्ट एंड दिस इज वेरीफाइड I hope that this concept of standard costing is clear to you guys. All the best for your examination. Score fifteen out of fifteen marks in the standard costing, because already you have seen that this is so much easy. Keep watching my further lectures. All the best for your examination. Thank you so much.